Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Michael from Nibiru News and someonesbones.com. It's a wet and damp and humid morning here, which is nor has been normal lately. I don't have a real story to read today, but I do want to address something that a user or a subscriber brought to my attention and asked me to look into. As uh, some of you probably know, the other day I put out a video regarding a company that sells survival shelters for upwards of $5 million. And that was that is a legitimate company. Survival Condo is a real organization. They've invested $20, $40, $50 million buying renovated, buying decommissioned nuclear silos and renovating them into survival bunkers. And personally, I do not believe any bunker is going to save anyone's butt from the Biru. A nuclear war? Maybe. The next Fukushima? Maybe. But Nibiru? No way. That is something I will definitely always agree with Dr. Shimshak on, that a bunker is not going to protect you from whatever Nibiru brings our way, most likely. So, a user gave me a link to a survival community because he or she, and I don't want to say his or her name because she, they might not want me to, and they thought it looked skeptical and asked me to look into it. And the minute I took a look at it, I was skeptical as well. And you're probably looking at the same page that I am right now on my screen, which immediately grabbed my attention and gave this thing a very dubious appearance to me. So everybody knows that I am against the concept of people being financially taken advantage of. I do not even ask subscribers to finance me and my research. I take care of that on my own. And it pains me more to think that anybody out there looking to survive whatever comes our way would dump money into a bogus scam. Now understand that everything I say from this point forward is my opinion. These are just my opinions based on the available evidence that I can see. I have attempted to reach out to this group, Winter Alpha Survival Group, with no luck. So I am just operating on what I have available to me to form what I would consider to be an educated opinion on the matter. I could literally point out 50 things that spell bullcrap to me regarding this Winter Alpha Group, Winter's Alpha Group. But I only need to point out four or five, I think, to most reasonable people to prove that this would be a very bad idea to give them even a dollar of your money. First, and although you cannot see the header on top of the screen here, first is they have a very, very uh, crappy looking web page that doesn't tell you very much here on the first part of the page. A cryptic looking picture, I have no idea what it is, it looks low resolution, cannot tell what I, I am even looking at. Second. This is on a WordPress site. They do not even have their own domain name. Now, you would think that a company building survival bunkers would be financially solvent and at least be able to afford their own domain name and their own hosting and not rely on a free hosting site. So that, is, that was clue one, that something was not right here. Clue two. Nowhere do they give you a phone number or even an email address to contact them. All they give you is a very basic contact form to submit to them. And I guess with the hope that they will get back to you with some information, I have not heard back from them at all. All right, let's take a look at some other things here. Okay, before we look at these pictures, I'm going to go ahead and read the text here. Winter's Alpha Group is an organization dedicated to, to the survival of the human race and the continuity of our species. Fair enough. It is unfortunate that the reality is that survival will not be for everyone, but a select number of people only. That's unfortunate. During a major planet change, 97%, I wonder how they came up with that figure, 97% of the population will not be able to survive such a cataclysm. A pole shift during the transit of Planet X Nibiru, so they, they specifically mention Planet X Nibiru, leading people to believe that their shelters should protect you from Nibiru. Those living on the surface or near the surface will not survive 
a major pole shift caused by this event. All right, so by saying those living on the surface, that would lead me to believe that their bunkers, their survival units, are below ground. Well, let's take a look at some of the pictures that they provide us of their survival units. Okay, I can't click on that. Okay, here we go. All right. Here we go. Look at this. Beautiful, isn't it? It's a gorgeous looking kitchen. But here, out the window, this is definitely not a below ground survival bunker. This is above ground. There is no doubt about it. It is very lavish. It is very luxurious. Hell, even Donald Trump would be happy to stay in a place like this. So my skeptical mind took me to a place wondering where did this picture originate from. Because there is no way that I believe that this is from their survival complex. So what did I do? I put this ver I downloaded this image and put it into reverse Google image search to see what we might have. Let's take a larger look at the picture first. Okay, so there it is. There's the picture right there. Wow, I wish I had a kitchen like that. So, let's see what I found. On a, on a Google reverse image search, it came up that this picture was stolen from Windsor Homes, which is an, from what I read in Australia, oh, okay, it won't, bring it, it won't redirect me through my program here. Let me go back. But apparently this is an Australian real estate agent. So, this survival group, found this image on the web, downloaded it, and is claiming it to be part of a unit within their survival complex, which obviously we know he now is not the case. Um, I don't know what proof, more proof anybody could want than that. All right, let's go back to their web page here. Now, I have no doubt, I did not look up all the photographs, but I have no doubt that every other image that they have here was also taken from Win uh, sorry, Windsor Homes in Aust uh, Australian real estate agency apparently. So this is all rubbish if you ask me. All right, let's go back and read a little bit more about what they say about themselves. Okay, here they talk about, uh, uh, basically they tell you doom and gloom, you're going to die if you're not living in the right survival complex. Uh, and they they get, get some good points. The nuclear power plants could uh, screw up our world, no doubt about that. And a lot of other information here. But I'm looking for... Specifically, where they talk about they don't they don't tell you how much their these units are, but they do mention very pricey. And I'm trying to just get down to where they mention what it would cost you to live in their survival complex. Okay. Uh, some information here they have is probably accurate, talking about Nibiru debris trail consisting of odd-sized asteroids and meteorites. Uh, my sources definitely confirm that information, so maybe they got some of that from, from me. But I do not believe, based on what I see here, that these people could in any way be legitimate. Okay, they say with their group they have addressed all of the issues and problems that we have, that have been described and are prepared and well armed to protect and survive. Here we go. Our bunker is expensive, very very expensive, no doubt about that. This, as a writer, this strikes me as very inexperienced and unprofessional writing. If I were trying to sell a product or attract people to it. I would not write in this way. Uh, no offense, Mr. President, but this sounds like a, a sentence that Donald Trump would construct. How much of, how much price 
See, they even forgot of. How much price are you willing to pay just to ensure you and your loved one's survival? Uh, simple syntax and grammatical mistakes. If these were, if this were a real organization with millions of dollars investing into surviving a coming cataclysm, I would think they would at least hire a copywriter uh, to put decent words, decent sentences on their website. Uh, are you saving that money until it doesn't hold any value anymore? No, they want you to get rid of your money. The threat is real, and it represents a danger not just to the government, but to the entire human race. That may be very true, but I would not give my money to you if that, regardless. You might laugh now, but I can assure you this. You will not be laughing when CNN tells you that NASA made a mistake, and they didn't see it because it came from behind the sun and, they, and tells the population that it'll be alright. Just head down to the cellars and basements for cover. Uh, to watch this spectacular astronomical event with minimal impact on our planet. Well, the government will probably tell us that, but the way that th this Winter's Alpha Survival Group is portraying itself is not very professional. Frankly, I do not believe they even exist. If anybody from Winter's Alpha Survival Group sees this video and wants to correct me, uh, you may feel free to contact me and I will certainly be happy to amend. So they go on saying that your entry is not solely based on your bank accounts per invitation. But here we go with another really creepy sentence. Don't think just because you have the finances you will get invited. Please don't let yourself get lulled into that false sense of security. I honestly do not think too many people are looking at Winter's Alpha Survival Group thinking about that. And I'll post a link in the description below so you can go take a look at this um, cheesy website yourself and form your own opinion okay and here okay here's a good one they claim that they have housing capable of sustaining up to 5,000 people for a minimum of 25 years even survival condo which is probably the most financially solvent uh, organization I know of that does this kind of construction only guarantees five years for their for their people and that's for four five, four and five million dollar condominiums that people will only see in the in face of disaster well, they have an advanced sick bay and they claim but they have an advanced sick bay but they're taking pictures from an Australian real estate company they show no pictures of their actual units so I don't think I really need to go much more in depth into this. Uh, they talk about discretion. Of course, if you do have something like this, you need to be discreet, but you're not going to attract people on there. This word okay, here we go. This WordPress blog is intended to be the only visible online footprint. Uh, sounds like an excuse. We intend to have, aside from a YouTube channel, that have been or should be has been created for the sole purpose of expanding our community to avoid further unnecessary media scrutiny. This just goes back to the contact form. This goes to an application form they have. I'm not going to bring it up, but you can look at it on your own if you want to visit the website where they ask you for your financial information, bank account information, and basically the kind of information that you would expect the CIA to ask for you if you were applying for a job. You know, if they have a YouTube channel, I could not find it. They have a lot of links here uh, that talk about Nibiru, but every single one of these links leads to a random YouTube page that discusses Nibiru or Planet X. I could not see any evidence of them having their own YouTube channel. And I'm surprised. I checked these out earlier. None of them led to mine. They led to a bunch of random pages, and they also claim to be a, they also claim to be a non-profit group. I highly doubt. I would be a, a, amazingly surprised if this organization is actually a 401c uh, organization, a non-profit. So, to the person that contacted me and asked me to look at this, you wanted my opinion. My opinion is. 
this is garbage. And again, I would not be I would not mind if somebody from Winters Alpha Group contacts me and corrects me. But in the meantime, if if you are going to spend money trying to survive Nibiru or whatever comes down the road and hits us, do your research, look into it, and again, my opinion, avoid a place like this that is showing. Claims to be an underground complex, but has these beautiful... Oh my god, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Wow. Wow, it's gorgeous. I want to move. I want to move into that survival bunker. Everything, everything you see here will be in your bunker accommodation, making you feel right at home. With this much space, you won't even feel you're in a bunker, as compared to similar underground European bunkers. Wow. So I guess they are uh, contracting um, the Australian real estate company to. Handle their bunk, handle their bunker sales for them. I have no idea. But in any event, I hope that again to the person that asked me to look at this, that you can see this for yourself. That this is a bunch of malarkey, and there are a lot better ways to spend your money than emptying your savings account into a bogus survival shelter. Michael from the Bureau of News, someonesbones.com, signing out. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.